Saudi Arabia threw out 60 billion yuan to build its domestic high-speed railway, but because it was too difficult, it directly scared off the United States and Japan, but China took over the project with its superb construction technology. So how did Chinese engineers overcome all difficulties to build this railway? Let's take a closer look in this video. Saudi Arabia and China announced the joint construction of the Haramain high-speed railway across the desert, with an investment of 60 billion US dollars. After the news came out, it caused widespread heated discussions around the world. The high-speed railway built by Saudi Arabia connects the two holy cities of Mecca and Medina, with a total length of 450 kilometers and a maximum speed of 360 kilometers per hour. This is the first two lines electrified high-speed railway in Saudi Arabia, and also the first desert high-speed railway in the world with the participation of a Chinese company. The construction of this high-speed railway was undertaken by the China Railway 18th Bureau Group. It took eight years and will be officially opened in 2021. In fact, building high-speed railway in the desert is a loss-making business. Why is China, which has suffered a lot on the desert high-speed railway, still building a desert high-speed railway in Saudi Arabia? Isn't this asking for trouble? In fact, China's construction of desert high-speed railway in Saudi Arabia has profound strategic significance and economic value. First of all, China built the desert high-speed railway in Saudi Arabia to respond to and promote the Belt and Road Initiative. The Middle East is an important node and bridge of the Belt and Road Initiative, as well as an important energy supplier and trading partner of China. Therefore, it is necessary for China to strengthen mutual trust and cooperation with Middle Eastern countries and enhance China's influence and voice in the Middle East. The construction of the Desert High Speed Railway is a good opportunity to demonstrate China's technological strength and friendly attitude, and to enhance political mutual trust and economic mutual benefit with Saudi Arabia and other countries. Secondly, China built the Desert High Speed Railway in Saudi Arabia to open up the international market and enhance its international image. We all know that China's high-speed railway technology has been at the forefront of the world, but it still faces many competitions and obstacles in the international market, such as Western countries' technological blockades, political interference and media smearing. Therefore, China needs to find a stage where it can demonstrate its advantages and strengths in high-speed railway, and the desert high-speed railway is an excellent choice. Building a desert high-speed railway is not an easy task. The desert environment is extremely harsh, which brings huge difficulties and challenges to the construction and operation of high-speed railway. The first is the dry and hot climate. There is almost no precipitation in the desert area, the air is dry and the temperature is extremely high. During construction, engineers were said to have sometimes felt sunburned on their skin as soon as they stepped outside. Moreover, there is no water source in the desert, and all water has to be transported from afar. This has caused great difficulties for concrete pouring, equipment cooling, and personnel life. Followed by wind and sand invasion. Strong sandstorms often blow up in the desert, blowing a large amount of sand towards the high-speed railway line. These sand particles can cover tracks, erode equipment, interfere with signals, and affect safety. And there are many flowing sand dunes in the desert, which will change their position and shape with the direction of the wind. If it is not treated in time, it will lead to the subsidence of the roadbed or the breakage of the track. The third is that the roadbed is weak. The soil in the desert is mostly loose sandy soil without stickiness and stability. 
they cannot directly bear the weight and vibration of high-speed railway. If it is not reinforced, subgrade subsidence, deformation, cracking and other phenomena will occur. Moreover, there is a lack of suitable building materials in the desert, and many materials have to be transported from other places. In the face of these difficulties, Chinese engineers and construction workers did not back down but exerted their wisdom and courage, adopted a variety of innovative technologies and methods, successfully overcome various obstacles and created engineering miracles. First of all, China has used advanced surveying and mapping technology and digital management system in the Desert High Speed Railway, providing accurate data and an efficient platform for the design and construction of the High Speed Railway. Using remote sensing satellites, unmanned aerial vehicles, laser radar, and other equipment, Chinese engineers conducted a comprehensive survey and analysis of desert terrain, geology, climate, etc., and formulated the most optimized route plan and construction plan. Secondly, China has adopted special roadbed structures and protective measures in the desert high speed railway to ensure the stability and safety of the high-speed railway. According to the characteristics of the desert area, Chinese engineers designed a double-layer roadbed structure. The upper layer is made of sand and sacks, and the lower layer is made of concrete. This structure can not only resist the erosion of wind and sand, but also bear the weight of high-speed railway. At the same time, Chinese engineers built protective walls and cobblestone embankments on both sides of the railway to prevent the intrusion of wind and sand, and installed water spray systems on some sections of the road to increase the humidity and density of sand. China has created an engineering marvel in the desert high-speed railway. However, we cannot ignore the fact that China is a loss-making business in desert high-speed railway. China lost a combined $4 billion on these two projects. So, why does China still do such a loss-making business? First of all, there are reasons for China's losses in the desert high-speed railway, mainly because the construction cost of the desert high-speed railway is too high and the operating income is too low. The construction cost of the desert high-speed railway includes not only the cost of materials, equipment, and labor, but also the cost of technology research and development, risk prevention, and environmental protection. The operating income of the Desert High Speed Railway mainly comes from fares and freight. However, due to the sparsely populated desert areas, backward economy, and limited tourism demand, the passenger flow and freight volume of the Desert High Speed Railway are not high, which cannot cover the operating costs and costs of the High Speed Railway. Maintenance Costs Therefore, China's losses in the desert high-speed railway are unavoidable. Secondly, we must realize that China's benefits from the desert high-speed railway are manifold. Economically speaking, although China lost 4 billion US dollars in the desert high-speed railway, it also drove the export of Chinese enterprises and products, increased trade between China and Saudi Arabia and other countries, and promoted the internationalization of Chinese enterprises and talents. Politically speaking, China demonstrated its concept of friendly cooperation and win-win development in the Desert High Speed Railway, enhanced political mutual trust and strategic cooperation with Saudi Arabia and other countries, and enhanced China's influence and discourse in the Middle East and the international community right. From a cultural point of view, China has spread its own culture and values in the Desert High Speed Railway, which has promoted cultural exchanges and people-to-people -people bonds with Saudi Arabia and other countries, and enhanced China's friendship and understanding with other countries and nations. To sum up, although China has a loss in the Desert High Speed Railway, 
it also has gains. Moreover, these benefits are long-term, far-reaching, and immeasurable, far exceeding the loss of 4 billion US dollars. The Haraman High-Speed Railway is the world's first high-speed railway crossing the desert that China participated in overseas construction. This is a challenging and difficult engineering project that needs to be constructed under extreme weather conditions, complex geological environment, and difficult construction conditions. Relying on its own advantages in high-speed rail technology and desert control, China has overcome various difficulties and created an engineering miracle. This high-speed rail not only provides Saudi Arabia with a fast and convenient transportation route, but also establishes a road of friendship between China and Saudi Arabia. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.